When a crisis occurs, it falls to first responders to make sense of a chaotic situation while mitigating the danger to those caught up in the event. In a hazardous chemical release, the stakes are high, and every moment lost to data gathering and analysis can put people at risk. At times like this, decision making is one of the most crucial skills of the first responder. Decisions made during a crisis share a common set of characteristics. Crisis decisions must be made quickly, with poor or incomplete information, under rapidly changing conditions, in a chaotic environment, under conditions that produce extreme physical and emotional stress, while there are competing demands for the decision maker's attention and frequent interruptions. Crisis decisions typically involve complex event or decision characteristics, and there are usually severe consequences for decision failure. That's a lot for any first responder to deal with. So how does it work in practice? In the field, veteran responders will size up situations as quickly as they can, using the sensory clues they're presented, the things they see, smell, hear, and feel. Sometimes it'll even include those things that come to them through instinct and intuition. A formalized adaptation of this approach was derived from extensive field studies of military and emergency response decision makers. It was called the Recognition Prime Decision Model. The Recognition Prime Decision Model integrates two processes, how decision makers recognize and size up a situation, and how they evaluate the course of action by imagining it and mentally rehearsing both process and outcomes. Using the Recognition Prime Decision Model, decision makers recognize and apply past experiences as a way of finding a solution to the problem at hand. Alpha Act Hazmat was designed around a six-step process based on the Recognition Prime Decision Model. In the six steps of the process, you size up the situation using available information, find similar events in a knowledge base, evaluate the events to see if they fit current conditions, tailor a selected event to the current conditions, mentally rehearse the decision to verify it's likely to work, and put the decision into play. The Alpha Act Hazmat interface was based on this structured approach and designed to match the six steps. In order, they include characterize, recognize, analyze, customize, dramatize, and utilize. In the upcoming modules of this tutorial, we'll take an in-depth look at each of the six steps in the decision process. We'll look at how the pages of Alpha Act Hazmat have been designed to support each step, and we'll learn how to use the system to quickly arrive at a good enough result that you can turn into protective actions for the hypothetical population that depends on you. First, however, we'll get you oriented to Alpha Act Hazmat, review the scenarios you can play, and show you the first things that happen when you select a scenario.